Yang amat berhormat Tun Dr. Mahathir Muhammad, Prime Minister Malaysia, Honorable Minister, Ambassadors and High Commissioners, Datuk Sri Haji Ismail Bakar, Chief Secretary of the Government, Datuk Sri Dr. Muhammad Uzir Mahidin, Chief Statistician of Malaysia and Chairperson of the National Organizing Committee, Datuk Nur Samsiah Muhammad Yunus, Governor of the Central Bank, Professor Helen McGillery, President of the International Statistical Institute, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh and a very good afternoon. Congratulations to the National Organizing Committee of this Congress, namely the Department of Statistics Malaysia, Bank Negara Malaysia, and Malaysia Institute of Statistics for hosting this significant biennial event. We are especially honoured that our Prime Minister, Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad, is here today to deliver the keynote address. Ladies and gentlemen, the strength of Malaysia is her communal and religious diversity in harmony. Since the 70s, Malaysia has attained substantive growth and under Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad, in the 80s and 90s, Malaysia was transformed from a fundamentally agriculture economy to one that is industrial-based with services and manufacturing as the major drivers of the economy. Today, our economy is moving towards greater economic complexity with strong fundamentals on high-tech and high-impact industries, greater digitalization, urbanization, and the formulation of new strategies to take on the challenges and opportunities of the fourth industrial revolution. Malaysia's urban population grew from 28.4% in 1970 to 76.2% in 2019, while the economy expanded from 11.82 billion ringgit to 1.36 trillion ringgit. The average monthly household income increased at 7.1% per annum to reach 6,958 ringgit in 2016, compared to only 264 ringgit in 1970. In spite of being exposed to global uncertainties, Malaysia's economy remains resilient. Bucking the regional trend during the second quarter of 2019, the economy experienced outstanding growth of 4.9% supported by a steady domestic demand, particularly private consumption and a strong recovery in the production of mining and quarrying sector. Nevertheless, we remain vigilant against any headwinds to come and will maintain fiscal discipline even as we do our best to spur growth. Prime Minister Dr. Mahathir has continuously advocated that while GDP numbers are a good measure of the strength of the economy, emphasis must be also given to efforts to increase the purchasing power of the people. This focus is also encapsulated under the theme of shared prosperity, which will be the fundamental rationale driving the formulation of the 12th Malaysia Plan aim at closing economic disparity between income classes, race and territories and ensuring that all Malaysians are able to experience and enjoy the wealth of the nation. While we chart our course five years into the future, we are determined to stay ahead of the curve with a new policy framework to attain robust economic growth and boost the living standards of the people with shared prosperity. We will redouble our efforts to accomplish the SDGs by 2030 
with a holistic plan that gives voice to the youth as one of the engines of growth and empowers the role of women in advancing the economy. Ladies and gentlemen, sound, relevant, and timely statistics pave the way for policies and decisions formulation, as well as guide us to realign policies that are misguided or misconceived. In this regard, we cannot overstress the importance of the integrity of data, but even more crucial is integrity in the implementation of policies. As the saying goes, we may have the best formulated policies founded on the most precise statistics, but without integrity, transparency, and accountability in implementation, the final objectives will not be achieved. Hence, while statistics are the eyes of the country's administration, good governance strikes at the heart of fulfilling the legitimate expectations of the people. Our national statistical system under the Department of Statistics Malaysia has evolved since its inception 70 years ago to keep pace with socio-economic and technological changes. Thanks to the expertise of our statistics department, Malaysia has provided technical assistance in core areas to other countries while also benefiting from sharing of experiences and knowledge. Ladies and gentlemen, in closing, may I say that as you deep dive in your deliberations on the wide spectrum of topics for the next five days, you help unleash the full potential of statistics for the betterment of the world and humanity at large. I wish you every success in this Congress. Thank you.